Well, this is my uh, old South Bend 9-inch lathe that I've recently acquired and restored it. It's about uh, early to mid-40s. I don't know exactly when it's made. It came with a lot of tooling. Here's some right here. Some stuff. We've got some drawers. It even has the milling attachment. Some other stuff. We're getting everything ready. The bench and whatever. Got some nice drawers there. But anyway, uh, the project that I worked on uh, recently was this indexing head. Uh, first thing you need to know is it's unplugged. But it didn't come with an indexing head. And uh, that what that does is allows you to turn this the exact number of degrees. So uh, I use this saw blade. Got the idea on YouTube. And it happens to have 100 teeth. So I can turn this one degree if I wanted to, or 180 degrees or whatever. But anyway, I needed that for another project. So instead of making stuff on the lathe, I'm making things for the lathe right now. So, but I'm having a lot of fun. And uh, so that's, uh, that's my latest project. Here's another uh, angle. This uh, saw blade has 100 teeth and you can see it ratchet around. I made an expanding insert that goes uh, right inside here and what it does, oh, right inside here. And then this bolt, when you tighten it, expands the insert, which makes this uh, saw blade hooked onto the, to the rest of it right in through here. So uh, it's pretty handy. Again, uh, I don't need that as an end in itself, but it will be a part of a uh, tool to do another, another task. So I can drill a hole somewhere and then spin this 180 degrees and drill another hole. So it's just a fun project and I'm doing some other projects. It has the uh, carriage stop here, right down here, quick change gearbox. And this just uh, screws on. I can remove that and everything on off switch. So it's a lot of fun. It, uh, it's been a lot of fun and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy it. Bye now.